marks the first day. This will be the last time that I sleep in a real bed for a little while. So it's really early right now. It's about 5.40 a.m. I'm in Florida, in Jacksonville, and I'm about to start this adventure. Planning on hitting the road in the next hour. And 13,000 miles later, I'll uh, be in LA. Just loaded the bike, it's ready to go. It's hard to see, but it's still dark out. I'm gonna hit it. 400 miles, here we go. And you were the one to walk right through it. Look up at the sun and you shine. about 400 miles and I'm now at Lake Russell in Georgia. It's a national park, it's super sick. Check it out, it's just established a camp. Real sick, look at how big these trees are. Anyways, on the way here, um, not so much traffic, but quite a bit of rain, uh, not so hot, about 80, 84 at most. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go swimming. And I'll show you what I've got in my kit that's working right now um, just to set up the camp. So come on, let's go. Setting up my hammock over there, cooking a little bit of lunch. Uh, it's about four o'clock right now. It took me a little bit longer. I took a couple breaks on the way. But here's what I'm doing. One of my GoPro batteries is charging off my Goal Zero Sherpa 100. And also my helmet Bluetooth is also charging off the Sherpa can see this organizer helps keep everything just real tidy. My wires are a mess right now, but they're not usually like that, obviously, when I'm traveling. So, everything's charging. Um, additionally, I did get gas today. There were a couple places along the way uh, that it did appear that there weren't gonna be gas stations for a while, so I threw some extra gas in there, just in case, because when you get upwards of 80 miles, already on your tank, um, you really want to add just a little bit more for reassurance. So here's my first meal, my backpacker's pantry, vegetable medley. Serves two people, but I didn't eat lunch, so I'm gonna destroy the whole thing. It's just a bunch of vegetables, that's really it. But I cooked, or actually I should say, I boiled water with the jet boil. So over here we have my Hennessy hammock, which is hung with rain fly. Not sure if it's gonna rain here today, but yesterday they did get rain. Uh, this ground was really rough and tough, so I actually couldn't stake into it, so I just tied off to some rocks. And then over there to the fire pit. Additionally, the rock on the backside there. But yeah, these trees were actually kind of far apart, so I ended up hanging it a little bit lower than I would normally hang it but I think that's a good height. So one additional thing I think I'm gonna do tonight, just because I'm not sure if it's gonna rain, is I'm gonna throw my Kelty nine foot tarp over the bike. Um, it worked out really nicely that I had these trees easily accessible, as you can see, and here. So I'm just gonna tie it off to a few trees instead of using my poles. Just put the tarp over the bike and now I'm ready to go swimming. Let's hit it. So I've got my stuff with me, some water, some additional things, and camp is over there. So now I'm gonna go exploring on a trail. But who knows what I'll find, hopefully a lake. So I'm on the trail and I can see the lake. I just need to figure out how to get to it. A little bit freaky back here because there's literally nobody else in the park. But 
Oh, just walk through a spider web. Yeah. I was talking to one of the women that worked here, and she said, there's no alligators, there's no leeches, there are only fish in this lake. find out if she's right uh, by being the test dummy nothing wrong with that right I mean it's kind of why I came out here to be an adventurer I guess so if I die on the first stop I suppose I'll have lived as an adventurer Let's see what happens Look at this. It's so incredible. Oh my god. I can't believe this. And I'm just here all by myself. This entire lake. Not a single person around. It's me and this crazy yellow tube <laughs> that I guess has some kind of fish line attached to it so that it hopefully you don't get eaten by something I guess I don't know this water looks sketch how crazy is this you're alone just me all this fucking nature. Maybe yep, I should get him. Let's do it. Let's see what the temp's like. Shirts. Ooh. Actually, damn. Feels really good. Looks sketchy. But hey, I only live once. Cause I'm being kind of a wuss. Not, not even a wuss. I guess a diva. A little bit of a diva. And not wanting to get my hair wet. I'm just gonna walk in. Walk in. It smells kind of funny here. Whatever. Oh, whoa, whoa! Holy hell! It's slippery. And holy crap. It's cold. It's cold. But it feels great after a hot ride. Bottom is muddy. Murky. Kind of weird and gross. But we're out here by myself in a lake called Lake Russell in Georgia and this is the start of Backpacking Moto the official day one and I'm in this lake and it feels so good now as long as an alligator doesn't pop up and <laughs> destroy, destroy me that would suck so badly this is so cool. I wonder what this is fed by. Maybe a spring? It's not that clear. Anyways, I'm out here by the five foot marker. And that swimming line. Let's go closer to it, I guess. Just super sketch. Just being here by myself makes this all the sketchier. And I guess all the park people have already left. It's 5.30. So... Now I'm here. Stuck inside a park. Standing in a lake. If I get eaten, though, nobody will know. Until much later, I guess. Because I'll be dead. I guess this is what it's all about, huh? Living, floating around in the lake by yourself, talking to yourself. 
apparently there was a bear somewhere in here. So hopefully tonight I don't find him. Or should I say, he doesn't find me. That is cool. There's a lot of dragonflies. A lot of other cool stuff here. Well, I'm gonna keep enjoying it. We'll catch up when I'm flying that drone. All right, just got done swimming. It was epic. And the sun is lower in the sky now. And I'm still out here all alone, walking back, about to drone. Get up there, get some sweet drone shots, get back down, get back over to camp, maybe get showered up. They do have some bathrooms here. And after I get showered, then I am going to cook, maybe do a little bit of writing, some light reading, then sleep, then do it all over again tomorrow and for the next two months. how cool this is. I am just walking next to the lake and I'm in the forest and there's nothing. Nobody anywhere. Anywhere. I hear an airplane. That's it. This park actually is a little bit deeper into the woods. It's on the back side of a mountain than I thought it was gonna be. Mind you, you don't have to hike in or anything like that, but it is pretty deep on the other side. A lot of twisty, windy roads as you enter the park. Very cool, love this place. Highly recommend it. Lake Russell. You know, the other cool thing about this lake is I didn't get eaten by anything. Nothing even brushed up against me. I did see some fish. Water was very murky, I didn't even go under. But there's all these cool trails as well that just go around the entire lake. cool thing about having a national park pass, the $80 saves you half on every campsite that you get. So when I got here, instead of paying the $18, I only had to pay $9, which is so dope because you save and that $80 is already paying for itself.